Okay, I want you to think for a moment. Bring the kids in too, by the way, because mm -hmm. they're going to want to hear this. I want you to think back to your childhood, all right? Did you ever, did you ever openly admit to passing gas in front of your friends? As a child? Wasn't that all about the denial becomes that much worse when you did it in front of your own partner, like your wife or your husband, mm -hmm. your spouse, if you will? Well, there's new research that suggests that smelling your significant other's fart may in fact help you live longer. Are we talking about this on live television? I am. I'm trying anyway. <laughs> research conducted at the University of Exeter, which of course we've... <laughs> if there would be a it's university... much better than... I'm not making yeah, this up. Yeah. <laughs> indicates that your partner's flatulence... Oh my God. ...may not be such a bad thing and might even present significant health benefits. So the next time they give you the old Dutch oven. Oh my God. <laughs> you might want to thank them. Oh All right? my God. The beneficial effects of farts have to do with one of the primary ingredients responsible for the foul rotten egg smell, hydrogen sulfide. Mm -hmm. It is hydrogen sulfide, my friends, that has been shown to have a plethora of health benefits, including the reduction of conditions such as cancer, stroke, and heart attacks. It has also been shown to prevent inhibiting diseases such as arthritis and dementia in old age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could so not be question, more disgusted by right? everything you have to ask just yourself said. Is, is it worth it? Would you rather live longer or get trapped under the blankets? Mm. Uh, mm. This is why just, I'm not married. Let me just literally, say this. if anyone I, does that let in me front just of say me, this. I will. Katie may live to be 150. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm just saying. Uh huh. And I may too. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Katie, if you're watching, she is, what you said this weekend, is, spot on. She is literally on the treadmill right now, oh my watching gosh. and hoping that no one else in the gym well, is. Well, she was until she just fell off, <laughs> the, off the treadmill. treadmill. <laughs> in front of everybody at the gym. <laughs> Nicely done, Kit Deer. I am I don't crying. Write these that things. is I'm so just wondering, gross. Right there, wondering about the stack of paperwork that the test subjects had to read through right. before they signed. Like, yeah, this sounds like something right, I'd like we're gonna to need, We're going to need a test group. <laughs> we're going <gonna, laughs> to need one of those parachutes you used to use in grade oh school gym class. Oh, my gosh. I am just and we're going to need a lot of cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is All so right. gross. Let's put that story behind us, if you will. Uh, if you want to stay mentally fit, reduce your stress, have better relationships, try picking up a book. I can't even try doing what? Try reading a book.